Milos Karadaglish is a 28-year-old classical guitarist who grew up in Montenegro. He auditioned and won a scholarship to London's Royal Academy with the aim to wake up the classical guitar world, which he says rather quaintly has somewhat fallen asleep. His debut album is just out. He's here in Australia on his first trip to this country. Milos, welcome to Radio National Breakfast. Thank you so much. It's wonderful to be here. Classical guitar, a bit sleepy. What makes you say that? Well, when I was studying, when I came to London, I realized that um, uh, classical guitar was living in its own world. It was a beautiful world, but it was a little bit of a closed world. And I felt when I graduated that uh, the respect of the classical guitar into the general music, music world wasn't as high as it should be, as I believe that this beautiful instrument deserves. So I really made it... Uh, made it kind of a mission of mine to 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 play the guitar always outside of the of the guitar world and i think it should be the task of all the all the young artists that play the guitar today to show how the guitar has evolved and and uh, how it deserves this equal equal place with all the other instruments you're only 28 you're already taking the world by storm you made it all the way to london's royal academy uh, 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 growing up playing the guitar as a young boy in montenegro was a time of great turmoil in, in, your, in your region, the Balkans, the countries surrounding you were at war. How did you discover the guitar? Is it, is, it, is it widely played in Montenegro? Not at all. I think I was one of the very first pupils for classical guitar in Montenegro. And generally, classical music in Montenegro is not something which has a long tradition. Um, discovering the guitar was a bit of an accident. I wanted to, to learn to play a few chords and sing a few songs, really. Um, and then I was introduced to the world of classical guitar through the magic of Segovia. And for me, that was it. I never looked back and I just really f found inspiration and found great love in this, in this music. So I think also I was very lucky to discover music at this particular time in the Balkans, because we all know what happened there. Um, and it was wonderful to me to live in this world of music at a time when people were living in a quite a different world. Will you play for us now? Yes, I will play you a beautiful piece by Francisco Tarega, who is the f most famous Spanish guitar composer. And the piece is called Lagrima, written by the composer when he visited London and was very homesick. Okay, let's hear it. Thank you, Miloš. Thank you. That's beautiful. That's a track from the new album? Yes, it's a track from the guitar. And you, this is your first trip to this country. Are you going to play? Are you, are you playing for, for audiences here? Yes, I already played in uh, two uh, guitar shops, meeting lots of fantastic guitar enthusiasts that 
which is wonderful because I always believe that guitar is always a guitar, no matter what type it is. Um, and I will perform tomorrow also at the Opera House, but this is a, a smaller closed event. Um, and, and Milos, I can't help but you're a young man. That's a beautiful sound. That's Milos unplugged. Do you ever attempt to plug in and you know pick up an electric guitar? Not really an electric guitar, but sometimes I do have to plug in if I play in big venues. Um, and, uh, and that's always very exciting because it's so different for us. We are used to producing the sound with our own bare hands. And it's always very exciting when you get amplified. Well, it's just wonderful to have you here playing for us, playing for the Breakfast audience. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming in. It's such a big pleasure. Thank you. Milos Karadaglic. He's only 28 years old. He hails from Montenegro, where basically nobody plays the guitar. I guess they're taking it up now after Milos's success. You're listening to ABC Radio National Breakfast. It's 29 past eight.